the last book haul, but it's a bunch of like random stuff that didn't really have a category. A couple of these are retellings. My other stack is mostly adult stuff that I just got. I didn't get a lot of adult stuff, I'll be very, very honest. I was super picky with adult because I sometimes struggle to read adult books, but I got a couple of things. These are just a random assortment of some nonfiction, some just books that were like retellings and some anthologies, a couple of nonfiction. So let's get into it. First one I picked up was Bravely by Maggie Stiefvater. This is a retelling of, or like maybe a prequel or a sequel to Merida. What if you had one year to save everything that you loved? One princess, two gods, three voyages, four seasons that will secure the boot's future or destroy it forever. So I really am happy that this was there because I've been meaning to pick it up. And again, Disney was having a lot of publishing issues this year, so... I think a lot of their arcs finally got printed, so we had a lot of options at Disney, unlike some of the other publishers. Um, I also picked up a copy of The Gathering Dark, edited by Tori Bavolina, an anthology of folk horror, which includes books by Erica Waters, Chloe Gong, Tori Bavoni, Hannah Whitten, Allison Saft, Olivia Shada, Courtney Gould, Aiden Pavlos, Alex Brown, and Shakira Toussaint. So this is a short story retelling, which I will probably read during the fall. And another one, Our Shadows Have Claws, five Latin American monster stories by a bunch of people. Some of the people I remember were like Mika Malit and Maritza Malit, Calabara Ortega, and Cor Cor Courtney Almeida. So yeah, those are the people that I know, but this one is coming out in September, and this one is coming out in September. So they're both coming out in September. They're anthologies. Um, yeah, I want to read those. That might be something I do in the fall. Um, the Ghost of the Hardy Boy by Leslie is a memoir, and this is the real-life adventure film memoir of the young newspaper reporter in 1920 who helped create the world's most famous boy detectives. I just always think this was really interesting. I really do like Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. I know that they're coming out with a Hardy Boys series on one of the networks I watch, so I just thought that was interesting. I'm trying to read a little bit more, more nonfiction in the morning, so this will probably be one of those. Um, also, Eternally Yours by Patrice Caldwell comes out in September, and this is Vampires, Merfolk, Angels, and Demons. The stories in this anthologies imagines worlds where only one thing is more powerful than the supernatural is love, and there is a lot of people in this anthology that I'm excited for. Kaylin Barron, Ken Dare Blake, Kat Cho, Hatsa Faisal, Sari Gailey, Chloe Gong, um, uh, Emily McMurror, Casey McQuestion, Sanaya Manon. Mirakowski and Julian Winters. I know most of those. Again, I really struggle with anthologies, but I'm going to try to be better in the fall. We will see. Or maybe even in the summer. We'll see. Um, I'm super excited. This one was there. Spider-Man Social Dilemma written by Pretty Chibere. She's hysteric. I, I, Pretty Chibere? I'm saying her name wrong. I apologize. But this is just a Spider-Man novel, and I'm super excited. It comes out in the summer, and I really hope to read it soon. Another, like you know, social media inspired book or like a Star Wars book is Padawan by Kirsten White. Being a teenager is hard enough without also training to be a Jedi. And this is about Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm in the middle of Obi-Wan. So this seemed perfect and it comes out in July. I have read stuff by Kirsten White in the past and I'm really excited to read it. I also picked up The Red Widow by Sarah Horowitz. She was there signing, so I was intrigued. It says, the Scandal that Shook Paris and the Woman Behind It, The Red Widow. Um, yeah, and this is another nonfiction one. An unforgettable true account of sex, scandal, murder, The Red Widow is a story of women determined to, de determined to rise at any cost. And this also comes out in September. And then I got Welcome to Pharaoh, Little Town, Big Secrets. This is a graphic novel by Mark Farring. Um, how many kids will go missing before the town admits it's haunted? And this comes out, oh, this actually came out, or supposed to come out, in January, and this is from Holiday House. Off What Her Head is another, um, you know, historical fiction one, but it says 3,000 years of demor demoralizing women in power, um, and she has worked on a lot of books. She also wrote Legacy of Kings a while ago, and I think, think she kind of transitioned back to writing nonfiction, but this is supposed to come out in September. Um, and then I got Polar Nights, Cast Into Darkness, original tale by Jen Calato and Mari Mikuzi. Um, And this is supposed to come out in, well, I do not know when it comes out. It doesn't tell me. 
Um, but this, I think, is another like twisted tale from the, in, in, in the Disney set. Now I'm going to show you the last set of books, which are mostly adult. So let's take a look at them. But I was trying to be a little bit selective because I am flying home. But I picked up American Royalty by Tracy Lepsari. And this is about a Saxon-driven rapper who's on the verge of signing a deal that would make her one of the richest women in hip-hop. And a prince who crosses her path. That sounds really interesting. So this comes out, it's coming out Avon. It looks like it's a finished copy. It doesn't tell me when it comes out, but I think it's coming out in like September. You're a Mean One, Matthew Prince is a Christmas novel. This one I'm really excited for. I have never read um, an LGBTQ plus Christmas story. Um, and also Never Been Kissed is another one. But this, this he says more is a speechy read, but there's no beach involved. And he was so, so funny. So I really would like to read these at some point. Um, and I also got A Merry Little Me Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. Um, is a steamy plus size Roman holiday rom-com about an adult film star who's semi-accidentally cast as the lead in a family friendly Christmas movie and a former boy pop star she falls in love with. That sounds adorable. And again, this is like a really, really cute Christmassy read. So again, I have ready like three to four Christmas reads to tackle. That's awesome. I normally get them so late in the year. I also got Flight Risk by Tracy Price. She's the author of Grave Reservations. I haven't read it, but I think she's a psychic travel agent. That sounds great. I did get Grave Reservations from my library, but I don't know if I'm going to read it in time. I might have to go buy a, a physical copy. We'll see. The Lottery Ticket by Freya Sampson. I read The Last Chance Library and really enjoyed it. This is coming out in August. Strangers on a London bus unite to help an elderly man find his missed love connection and a new novel from acclaimed author of The Last Chance Library, which I really, really enjoyed. I read that. It was more women's fiction. When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I'm hoping to go to Rome next year. So this is supposed to be published in 2022. Um, and I do not know what this book's about. But I think she goes to Rome. I think that's what I heard. So This one was an interesting one. It says A Dreadful Splendor by B.R. Myers. She's the author of nine adult novels. In this speckled, imaginative, ghostly, fun, gothic murder mystery, brimming with romance, betrayals, and chills, a fake spiritualist is summoned to the home's ass for a woman who died on the eve before her wedding, but as the nefarious secrets are revealed, the line between hoax and haunting blurs. I don't know if this is adult. I don't know if this is young adult. It comes out in August, but I'm intrigued. Um, also, The Band Bookshop of Maya Banks by Shauna Robinson. Um, she has to help. She goes to a small town to help her best friend's bookshop, but she realizes making sure this bookshop does not fall into ruin is harder than you think. So, I also pick up the hookup plan by Farrah Rashawn. She's got she's she's got close friends and an even closer enemy. This comes out from Forever on August second, and the last one I got that I will probably pass on to one of my social studies teachers is What's the Fact? Finding the Truth in All the Noise. So. That is the last one I picked up. So I hope you guys like this book haul. Let me know in the comments what book you think I should read next or read first. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, friends.